D31 here, pretty powerful ship. It's not that maneuverable, it's like an arrow. So it goes straight pretty fast. It's not really good at maneuvering like other destroyers. This is a pretty big game, it's not like uh, the smaller games I usually play here. 500 so that is basically a dollar. I get really nice torpedoes there. Random torpedoes here, I believe it was Diablo there that hit three torpedoes. Hmm. Me attempting to get the kill. Let's try commanders. Kondo. And this is why Kondo I like, at least for these kinds of battles, is that, well, right here, I kind of suck at shooting for a little bit. But basically, I it, it just kills things. I have Kondo, Reinhardt, Felix, and Arashi. C31, tier 7 German destroyer, and its commander's build. So we're gonna talk about that. So I have Thomas Kincaid. I'm leveling him up. He's not as choice. I wouldn't really put him. But for this case, he's kind of good for this kind of build, to be honest. If you have him at 3 stars, and you will see why in a little bit and why I chose to start leveling him up. No one really talks about this guy at all, Thomas Kincaid, but I am currently using him to good effectiveness. Of course, there are more ideal commanders to use. The reason I am using him and Arashi, there's another way to set this kind of build up here, at least I have another way of setting this build up here, and that is to have Hoffenstein at 4 stars on the communications, and then I will talk about these destroyers commanders later. But it's been a year, my commander video needs an update. What I'm gonna do now is I show you why this build works. At least this kind of build out there to kill the other light ships as quickly as possible. That is the main reason for this build. It's not mainly to scout, but you're in the front line scouting already. You have to keep moving. You can't stay still at all. You have to keep moving up forwards. You have to be using all your maneuvers and all your shooting, like every time your gun loads, you shoot. And here another chance for Kondo to be effective use. Yeah, basically this M class has no chance. M class Hunter to zero again second time in a matter of seconds to do anything about what's gonna the other way is fate. But I get a pentakill this game, 5 on a tier 7 game. It's pretty hard to get pentakills. So, here is my stats. Amazing damage here. Pretty, pretty hardcore damage there. Lots of experience, renown, and stuff. I've hit basically everyone here. Let's see. I've hit, where's this M class? M class, 7k. Pennsylvania, 19 wards for Pennsylvania. Kondo, good for killing, basically brings most destroyers reload speed to 2, 3, 4 seconds. And you can shoot like maybe 3, 4, 5 times the duration. Or when you're going up in front, you tend to take a lot of damage as well sometimes. So it's always good to have wisdom, recover 2 commander points instantly, which helps you use Kondo faster in the beginning of the game. Reinhardt's also good for scouting, he's got 200. Always have Felix, Heinz at 3 stars, I would like to have him at 4. Always good to have a combination of 500 meters on your comm specialist Tensu Kaku and survival instincts in coupled together. Nakayama has that on one commander which is good. One main artillery penetration helps with penetrating killing destroyers. And Thomas Kincaid, let's talk about this guy. He gives you 1% disguise, makes you harder to see. A lot of his things are for turret rotation and when you're in a destroyer, you turn your turrets a lot. That helps make it more accurate as you steer your ship which is really good on a destroyer with that 1% disguise guys or a light cruiser. Another way you can set this, Offenstein is a good pick for German destroyers because Germans have a slightly higher bit of penetration. But having him and then even Beauty, if you have him at 5 stars, it will be ended because you get 3% this guy, which is absolutely amazing. That's the second highest compared to Felix with that 5% guy, Seahawk. So Phantom of Saint Nasser, her ability is really good on a destroyer, at least with this kind of setup since you do take a lot of damage. But the main thing is having Having a survival instinct and a communication commander. Boarding Chung Hoon is good for disguise as well. He's got 2% disguise and survival instinct. And Gerard Group is an interesting character. He gives you your ability. Oh, you also have to have him in. Excellent. But he doesn't really help with disguise or scouting otherwise, so you're sacrificing that 